By now, you all know the saying, go woke, go broke, right? Well, I have another example for you. And this time, it's the Democratic Socialists of America or DSA themselves. As you likely know, the DSA supports the woke agenda, from transgender mutilation of children to the more recent advocacy of Palestinian terrorists. As such, they are continually losing support. Enough so, in fact, that party officials have announced some major cuts ahead. According to a column written by three of the party's National Political Committee members, with all that's going on in the world and the progressive movements at hand, this should actually be a favorable time for DSA. And yet, as a memo written by the same three socialists stated, the party faces a financial crisis so much so that they will soon need to start laying off staff at all levels. The current deficit will force us to make seven-figure budget cuts. This will require us to make painful decisions that will impact all levels of the organization. The first step, according to the memo, will be to ask employees to leave voluntarily with a severance package in hand. But if there aren't enough takers, they may be forced to initiate involuntary layoffs. Now, I know what you're thinking. This sounds like any capitalist layoff plan, right? And yet, this is America's socialist party. Regardless of what they believe, they are a business like anyone else. They require funding to stay afloat. Funding from willing participants. Their problem, of course, is that their product, the woke hate and greed they're selling, isn't of interest anymore. Or at least not enough to make ends meet. As I mentioned before, much of this has to do with the party's recent and obvious support of terrorists. You might remember that local chapters of DSA immediately came down on the side of Gaza, essentially saying that raping and torturing women, beheading babies, and slaughtering the innocent was fine. Unsurprisingly, they have lost a great deal of funding and support. And now, many believe they are getting what they deserve. Are we even surprised at this point?